All right, guys. So today I got a electric lawnmower. Got a little headlight on it. Um, it's a Ryobi 21 inch 40 volt battery powered lawnmower. Um, and it, when you squeeze the handle down, it'll drive. It's working fine, but squeezing the handle down, the blades aren't engaging. And this button kind of feels funny. So we're going to uh, go ahead and pop this open and see what's going on. I'm going to pull this up and fold this up. Uh, that way I can get to the back of it. And we're going to pop this bugger apart. Not guaranteeing that I'll be able to fix it. But I'll at least be able to see what's crapping in there and then try to order the parts. So this is just give you a little inside view of the, you know, the what's crapping inside. All right. Hold on, let me get set up. All right, so what I'm seeing here is you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 3 4 something like that 24 24 different bolts so we're going to slowly go at it um i got allen it looks like it's a star but none of my stars would fit this allen's fit and this is like a three or four millimeter so we're just going to take all these out let me find me a container to throw everything in there's a lot a lot of bolts That's probably good, dude. Is it still coming out? Uh, I can see some shit in there fucking, you know how when you do the gas tanks, it vapors. So this is going to take a while to take all these out there is to get all these screws out so i'm just gonna hit the pause and it'll fast forward till you guys are till all the screws are out of this thing so as i'm taking these out i realize these bottom ones right here are much, all the rest of these have been the same length these ones are much shorter so just remember these are shorter bolts and then these guys right here are a little bit um, um, smaller. They're, I had to use a star in them. They're a little bit smaller on these two. They right above these levers. They wouldn't fit that Allen. So when those come out, we gotta make sure we keep those separate from the other ones. Let's see if this will come apart now. It wants to. Handles are falling out. Everything's wanting to fall out. Come on. Oh yeah, we're gonna make a mess of this. What is going on here? What is holding? Oh, it's not. What's holding this? Look 
was acting like it's holding it all, all those rods. This is crazy. Metal rods are holding it. Get that up. They did not make this to come apart, that's for sure. This switch is a push button switch. This is going to be a mess. Nice. Alright. This is awesome, huh? Alright. Let me pause this while I try to figure it out. So these go... Um, this bigger piece goes on the right hand side. And you can hear it click into the switch. This one just stacks right inside of it. Goes on the left hand side. Oh. There's that speed. I lost the green cap on the floor here somewhere, but the speed control is down in here somewhere. I saw it hit the ground. Oh, here it is. This will go back up. Just over top. And just somehow. Like that. No big deal. Easily control speed. Alright, that's all that. This goes down in there. The switch we need is in this part here. So I am going to take, hopefully, Alright, so I'm going to try to pop this out. This spring is on this side and it stabs into that piece there. Let's see if we can't just get that on out of here. Let's oh, we'll just get these out of the way for now. And what we're trying to do is get this handle out of the way and so get to everything better. Let's get on and get a little screwdriver. They did not make these to be worked on. They did not expect anybody to work on these. They truly did not. We got that handle out. All the electricals kind of coming apart with it, but I'll go through what I can as I can. So I'm gonna pop these little yellow tabs. Let's see if I can show you better. We got little yellow tabs for that button right here. So if we just pop them out, maybe we can pop that yellow button out. I can get a better idea on what kind of switch this is inside. Look, there it goes one, there goes the next. Now that yellow tab should just pop right on out. Boom, and then it's what it is, on off switch. And we're gonna test that real quick. Hold on, let me set up. Now we're gonna set this to ohms. It's the sounder right there. It's a multimeter. I'm gonna take the prongs and touch them together. That's how we know that that's making contact. So this switch down here should make connection when we touch these two together and then turn the switch on. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and unplug these. Maybe unplug these, they're kind of stiff on there. That's what I can just get. Mm. Hey, uh, come here real quick. I need you to push that switch. It's going to be that one right there. Hold on, let me get on it. There's, you see it, that on-off switch right there? Yeah, just give me a second. Don't push it yet. Let me get my... Okay, push it. 
it's working so that switch is working this switch is working um, the, the kill switch is working I wonder So when that kill switch goes, was it activate this stuff? What's it do? Weird. What does that do? Oh, it pushes something else down. Where is it? This goes here. Something else goes here. Who's missing? Oh, this guy. So I'm gonna push this down. I know this works. All the switches are working. I wonder if the motor burn up. Because when I push this one and then I push this one, it wants to it wants to drive. This one and then this one, which is connected, is making that beat noise. Nothing. So, and if I push this button down without this put down, no drive. Gotta have that down for it to drive. I have this down and that. I think we got a bad motor. Alright, well we got to see what was inside this piece of work here, didn't we? Let's get this thing all pushed back in, back together. Get this thing fitted back together real quick. Back in. Okay, this little guy here goes down in this, just like so, like that. Um, and then you're gonna have to guide all the wires into little crevices. Let's get the uh, the switch. Going for this guy here. Um, we get this put together. All right. Once you get all the wires kind of set in place and everything, I mean, I've only got these two screws just kind of holding it together. But I got in everything, make sure everything was working while I had this all kind of together. These are the two thinner screws, and I'm just going to go ahead and just pop everything back in, and get it all tightened down. So it's obviously. Uh, something besides the switches, all the switches are working order. Um, maybe I'll do another video on this at another time where I'll pop the motor apart, but it's brushless, so there isn't really much we're gonna do with that. Everything else is working, so the battery's got juice. I mean, only anything I can think is that that motor is gone. Or maybe a controller, if there's like a controller in here. But then with the controller bad, I would think that they wouldn't drive or anything. Lights come on or anything like that. So, um, but that's, this is a pain in the ass to take apart. And it's a pain in the ass to put together. I guess after you've done it a few times, it isn't going to be so bad. I mean, now that I've done it once, I kind of got an idea what's going on. I could do it again and again. And just get better as I go at it. But, yeah. Um, I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea on diagnosis. I mean, I haven't figured out what's all wrong with this thing yet. Um, but, we'll do another video later of uh, tearing the uh, motor section apart. Uh, this helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Um, hit the notification bells. That helps a great deal. About all I can think of, guys. Peace.